Hi there, in this video, I'll show you how I style this frontal wig here. The knots have already been bleached, so I'll show you how I go from this right here to this, which you see right here. If you want to see how I do, please keep on watching and please like this video. Let's get into it. This wig right here is a frontal wig, it's made with three bundles of dono hair and a 13 by 4 frontal. I already wigged the hair and bleach the knots on the list of the frontal of camera i have videos on how i do that on my channel so you could check out my videos on how to make a closure wig or how to make it i think the video i did on my filipino hair so you get to see how i bleach the knots on my closure or frontal i'm starting by just combing through this hair and after combing through the front of the hair I would pack the hair at the back using that elastic band. Just pack the hair at the back and after packing the hair at the back, I'm going to turn the hair over back to the front. We will start the process of plucking the frontal. That's the front of the frontal to help it look more natural. And this is the tweezer I'm using. The this tweezer is not sharp. The reason why I use this particular tweezer is I don't want to tear the lace. You want to ensure that you're using a tweezer that is not so sharp as it's going to tear your lace or put a hole in your lace. That's the reason why I use this particular tweezer. Okay. Initially, I wanted the hair packed, but I realized that I'm going to need to be brushing through the hair while I'm plucking out the excess hairs in front of the front. The reason why I'm plucking the, the lace of the front out that's just like one inch downwards. Is because I want it to look more natural and I try my best to not over pluck it because it's better for you to under pluck your lace than to over pluck it because once you over pluck it you have to reventilate it. it's better for you to have more hair than for you to have not much hair because the thing about closures and frontals is over time it loses hair depending on how you pull your hair on when you're wearing your wig some people when they want to place their hair on their wig they use they hold on to the hair instead of holding on to the lace or the wig cap let me start describing the process of how i am tweezing the hair on this frontal so like i said earlier i'm only tweezing one inch downwards in terms of the length of from the front of the hair towards like the rest of the least frontal i'm only tweezing one inch of it so after i cut out one inch of it with that tail comb and pin the hair backwards i'm using that tweezer now to tweeze the hair as i cut it on the inside i'm tweezing the hair and you notice that i'm not tweezing the hair in the same direction if i tweeze one area i leave a little space and tweeze the next area i'm not tweezing the entire line of the hair if i didn't show you how i did it quite well for this for the part that you showed you now i'm going to do it again so you get the movement of how i tweeze my lace uh, i try my as much as possible to know over tweeze it yes so you see i tweeze this area there that seems to have a lot of hair and i go to my heat protectant spray and spray it on the hair and apply heat to see exactly what i currently have to see if the hair is still bulky and it's beginning to look a little bit natural on this side but it still needs a little bit of it of tweezing but i'm just going to apply the heat all over the hair and move to the next area that i want to tweeze and it's going to be the front of the hair so i took one inch deep by one inch deep i mean i just took a little bit of the hair in front then i'm using my tweezer to twist the hair on the back and the hair on the front you'll notice look at how i'm moving let me slow down this video you see how, how i'm not tweezing in the same place i'm literally leaving space I tweeze one area, I leave, and I tweeze another area, I leave, I tweeze another area. This is the best way to achieve the most realistic look. You don't want to have bald spots on your lace. That's the reason why I move in that direction. Then I use my tail comb to just the hot comb rather to comb through the hair, and I put my hands in on the inside to see how natural and realistic the lace looks and take note i didn't tint this lace i only bleached the knot on this lace that's the reason why it looks the way it looks and obviously if i should wear this 
lace on my head it's going to look very skin like but if you want to see how this wig looks like on my head go to my business page on instagram at enl beauty hair you get to see it on me when i model the hair because of course this wig is available for sale yeah back to this other side of the wig now i'm taking out a little bit of hair on the front side i'm clipping the rest of the hair away and i'm going to start tweezing the hair on the front parts of this of this frontal yes so i'm gonna hold the hair and start plucking i'm so sorry i used my head to cover the camera i'm so sorry most times in fact all the time i feel my videos alone so i don't have somebody that's watching to ensure that everything is in full view so because of my face thank god i, re I realized what i was doing i moved my head away i wasn't really showing that part that you ought to see but just watch from here now yes yeah so i tweeze one area move to another side tweeze another area just leave that space that is what's going to allow it look most natural and after i twist the inside i comb the backwards and i'm gonna clip the hair away yes yeah 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 this is how i do it this is how i do it some people like to twist more than twist their front house more than this but i feel like if you want to use that wig if you want to use that front out for a really long time, you shouldn't be about tweezing it. As much as people feel like, oh, it gives them a more realistic look, it looks more natural. Over time, if I give that front out like six months, one year, you will have to change it because you've overplugged it, except you have the energy to start reventilating it, which is going to cost you more money. So why overplug it in the first place? Yeah, so I'm using my hot comb to comb through the hair to see exactly what I have right now and look for the areas that I feel need a little bit of tweezing. And I'm going to use my tweezers to just pluck a little bit to give me a more natural look. Yes. So keep plucking, plucking in various spots when i pluck in one area i leave a little space and plug in the next area this particular area here is still a little bit bulky that's the reason why i'm going to cut through with my comb and twist it a little bit on the inside yes so watch the movement again you can see how i leave space and move to another area my head though i'm sorry guys <laughs> i'm so sorry whenever my channel starts making sufficient income because right now this channel is not any me anything that i can live off of i should get somebody that would be like a videographer to ensure that everything is captured and there are no there's no head covering yeah so because of the process of having to bleach the knots on the lace you notice that the hair on the front is a bit is not as smooth as the hair on the back because of course the hair was washed in the process of bleaching the knots on the lace so i have to style the hair on the front and apply my moroccan argan oil serum to the hair on the front i'm also going to spray my heat protectant spray and use my hair straightener to straighten the hair on the front and i'm also going to apply the remaining of the products on the back of the hair even if i know the hair is pretty much straight but i'm going to still apply it there and also style the hair on the back for the hair on the front out, i'm taking very small sections of hair and i'm straightening the hair using my cloud nine hair straightener I'll work with small sections as slowly and try as much as possible to straighten the hair the best that you can that is what i'm doing i'm trying as much as pos possible to straighten the hair and i'm working in small sections after working with one area i move over to the next area and i keep straightening the hair till i achieve the desired look that i want you can see the area that has been straightened see how sleek it is and see how this other side that hasn't been straightened just looks a bit dry yes this particular hair is vietnamese donor hair and this wig is made with three bundles of 24 inch donor hair and a frontal if you want to purchase this week send me a dm on instagram it's available for sale and i'll ship it to you anywhere you are in the world via dhl yes so after starting the back of the hair it's time to style the front of the hair i decided you could style this front out any way you want to style it if you want to wear it as a straight part you want to do a c part you want to do a middle part you can you can style this hair any way you want I decided to do a C part and the way I'm styling the C part is I'm not going to pluck the 
parting area because i want it to be such that you can always restyle it you're not stuck with just wearing this hair one way you can even choose to wear it as an all back you can wear it as a middle part you can do side parts c parts v parts you can even pleat the hair on the frontal anything you want to do with the frontal this the way i did just allows you play with the hair any way you want to have it yes so right about now what i want to do is to style the frontal area a bit and i mean to style the front and also style the back of the hair don't forget i already styled the straighten the hair on the front so what i want to do now is to straighten the hair on the rest of the hair that's the back of the hair so i sprayed my heat protectant spray and i'm going to use my cloud nine hair straightener to straighten the rest of the hair on the back of the hair after i'm done with straightening the hair on the back of the hair i'll get back to styling the front out which i was supposed to do but then i decided to do the back first so straighten the hair i know the, this hair is very it's already straight but i'm just going to do the necessary step of straightening the hair of course and this particular hair is the natural straight hair this hair will, has not been processed we are going to keep straightening the hair in small sections until we complete the process of straightening the hair and this hair is in its natural state it has it's not a bone straight hair it's a natural straight hair so i can choose to my client that buys this hair if you are the client watching this video you can wear this hair as a straight the way it is if you get out of this hair being straight you can coil it you can wear it as a wavy hair so you can wear it as a wavy you can wear it as coily you can choose to even cornrow the entire hair and wear it like braids there's so much you can do with this hair the quality of this hair is amazing it's one of those hairs that when you buy you can use this hair for a lifetime this is the type of hair that your child can inherit and so that's what everybody say now on instagram yeah this is the type of hair that your child can actually inherit yes so it's really really good quality very amazing quality it's very full because of course it's maybe three bundles of dono hair and the frontal yes so if you want it send me them on instagram and if you're getting value so far from this video please make sure you smash the like button share this video with your friend who's also going to get value out of it and please subscribe to my channel subscribe subscribe now yeah so back to styling the hair i'm still using my hair straightener to straighten the rest of the hair and also straighten the front of the hair to sort of blend it in with the back of the hair that i just finished straightening yes okay so one thing again that i'm not going to do in this tutorial is i'm not going to apply any foundation or any lace tint to the inside of the lace because i want it to be such that i don't know the complexion of the person that is going to buy this hair so if this person buys this hair and the person wants to wear it as a glueless wig the person can wear it like that all they need to do is just apply the shade of their foundation on the inside and it's ready to wear if the person chooses to want to wear it like um like a glued down wig they can also use this wig to you can also wear it as a glue down wig. all you just need to do is if you know how to do it yourself do it yourself if you have some if you have somebody that can do it for you great you can have also have somebody do it for you all you need to do is just use the lace tint or use your foundation to blend it to the to your perfect skin sheet yes so the whole of the hair has been straightened right now i'm gonna go over to just styling the front of the hair but then okay yes i want to cut the bottom part of the hair because i want the ends to look a little bit fuller that i know it's quite full but because of the way when wigs are made the way the movement along the lace area is you're going to have that end looking a bit thin so you want to cut out any thin end so that the hair looks richer so i'm going to use my hot coiling one now to start styling the hair on the frontal area and i'm trying to ensure that i perfect my c parts and while i come through the hair and continue the process of styling it to ensure that it looks flawless because man this hair is truly very beautiful the quality is really amazing yeah so while i'm coming through the hair i'm still going to apply heat and keep flattening the hair around the frontal area that's the c part area to ensure that it leaves flat and i'm going to also repeat the same process on the other side of the frontal not just on this side on the other side to ensure that the hair lays as flat as i want it to yes 
So I'm applying my hair wax and I'm going to also spray my heat protectant spray to the hair around the frontal area while I use my hot coiling one to flatten the hair and take out any random strands of the random things that I'm seeing on the hair and I keep continuing the process of styling the hair. Okay guys, so we are almost done with this tutorial right now. You can see how the hair has completely changed. It looks so much better than how it did before. And I'm ready to show you guys the finished look of this week because man i like the way it looks the frontal was not over plucked it still looks realistic it's something that you can wear for a very long time i did it in a way that the hair really lasts you a really long time it's not about you just uh, over plucking your frontal because you want it to look natural you also want your frontal to be to last you a very long time so you don't have to purchase again because the frontal alone is quite expensive yeah, so guys, this is the finished look, and I'm going to show you what the hair looks like on your back. Very beautiful, very high quality hair, very high quality strands. Thank you for watching this tutorial. Don't forget to give this video a huge thumbs up and share with your friend who's also going to get value out of it. Please subscribe to my channel and remember, be bold, have courage, live a positive life, do whatever it is that makes your heart thick. Have a fantastic day. Bye.